So there are a few things in Apollo which you'll notice that we haven't really talked about in these videos, and this is because some of these features are not really used much anymore. One of these features is this top 10 um, down the side of every everything, and you can sort these, and it does sort by points and who's got the most points in each topic. But this hasn't been emptied for some years, so you're going up against three or four years' worth of students. So I don't really update this or look at this. It's just for a, a bit of interest. Um, one other thing that you notice is on this screen, there is a click to set a finish time for this topic. If you click that, it comes up with this. Now, this is to help you space out your time. Okay, so say you want to finish buoyancy in four days, then I'll just click on four days and it will set a timer for you to do that topic by. So it's just to help you um, manage your time a little better, but not something that I'm going to talk about too much. The last thing that you'll probably have noticed that we haven't talked about are these two buttons here, the request help and offer your help. Now, these will sometimes be used by teachers in classrooms with movable tables, um, but we will never use these um, at American School of Doha. If you're watching this video from another school, this is, might be something that your teacher uses. But for us, we're not going to use these two buttons at all. Okay, we will use this button, the peer assessment button, but not these two buttons here. So these are some things that you may have seen on Apollo that you're questioning, you don't know what they do. Well, that's what they do, and um, they're not things that we're going to focus on for this course.